Gavin Barwell, you are the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff. Yes, I am. And as such, you had a front row seat for her reshuffle last week. How did it go? Well, like everything in government, we had thought about it long and hard and planned it very carefully. And then, eventually, comes the day where you have to put it into action and wait for the inevitable moment when it all unravels. Unravels? Yes, everything we do. Budgets, policy announcements, Brexit legislation, they all fall apart in a day or so. But this time, it was different. Why was it different this time? Because this time it fell apart almost instantly. How long did it take? 37 seconds. 37 seconds? Yes, someone at Tory central office thought that we'd appointed Chris Grayling as party chairman and tweeted it out, even though we'd changed our minds. And why did you change your mind? Well, being party chairman requires intelligence, charm and personality. And some of these aren't Chris's strong points. And how many of those is he weak at? All of them. Did Mr Grayling take his non-appointment well? Well, he said he was happy to stay on as Transport Secretary because it was a job he'd always wanted to do. You see, Chris is really a scintillating chap. Well, he sounds it, but coming to the reshuffle itself, it's a bit odd that it began with all of the top team just simply being reappointed. Well, of course. It's not like the Prime Minister can just sack anyone. Uh, actually, she can. That's the whole point of a reshuffle. But all of them were doing a good job. Well, some of them have shown massive incompetence. But Theresa's very clear that she's not going to fire anyone for incompetence. She's worried it'll set an unwelcome precedent. But she did want to move Jeremy Hunt. She did, but he looked so sad. He begged for over an hour. It just became easier to keep him on. And that's why we call him MRSA, because no one wants him anywhere near a hospital and he's impossible to get rid of. So, all in all, this reshuffle was a bit of a disaster. Oh no, I think it was a great success. Why do you think that? Well, Theresa wanted to demonstrate exactly how much authority she has, and I think she'd succeeded with staggering accuracy. Gavin Barwell, thank you. No, thank you.